Now's the time of the show where we help you win some cold, hard cash. It is Easy Money with E. We'll welcome in resident sports betting analyst Erica Davis. She's going to give us a preview of Phoenix. But before that, how are you feeling about your Vegas picks? Kim, I feel really good about my Vegas picks because last week I said Truex over Logano in the head-to-head. -head. And as we know, Truex finished seventh, Logano finished ninth. So you're welcome for that. <laughs> Easy money with E. Um, but moving into to this week um, for Phoenix, I want everyone to know we are in the era of predictability. So everything that you remember about the super speedways from the first and second week, just forget about it. Put it on the back burner of your mind because now it's all about predictability from a racing perspective and from a betting perspective. Okay, predictability. Should we predict a Chevy and Victor Lane, because they have absolutely dominated this season in the Cup Series, winning the first three races. Yeah, Kim, the, the theme of this season so far has been Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. And when you look at the odds for the winning manufacturer, which is my first spot that I want to talk about, same thing as last week. Chevy has the shortest odds. Toyota is sandwiched in between, and then Ford has the longest at plus 270. When you take a quick glimpse back at the last few races here, you see Ross Chastain won, and so did William Byron, both in Chevys last year. And then in 2022, Ford won both of those races, but Chevy wasn't too far behind. Chevys have swept the season this year. So I am riding with Chevy here. However, for you betters out there, if you wanted to put a little bit of your bankroll on a Ford at plus 270, I would not be mad at that. All right, so we've decided on manufacturers to put our money on. What about drivers? So, you know, I love top three, top five, and top 10 odds. Right now at the sports books, what we have to work with is top three drivers' odds. I want to ask you, though, Kim, before I give you my picks, which couple of drivers would you predict would finish in the top three? Okay. Maybe I'm silly for not picking a Chevy driver, but I think I'm going to go Ryan Blaney because he's finished runner-up the last three races at Phoenix. And then I'm going to maybe pick a little bit of a wild card. Ty Gibbs, he has the second best average finish this season so far, so I think he might surprise some people this weekend at Phoenix. Okay, Kim, not silly at all. However, you and I are di we're on different <laughs> wavelengths this week. It's okay, different ends of the spectrum. My four drivers who I like to finish in the top three are Larson at plus 225, Chase Elliott at plus 500, Bowman at plus 800, and then Austin Dillon at plus 2,000. Now, obviously, all four of them can't finish in the top three. Those are just odds that I like. But I really want to focus on Chase Elliott and on Austin Dillon, starting with our guy, Chase Kim. He hasn't had the worst start to the season, but it has not been the best. And I think that Chase Elliott fans and Chase Elliott betters, if there's still some who are backing him, <laughs> are probably giving him the side eye because his teammates have gotten into victory lane and he has not yet. So why do I even like him at plus 500? Well, a $10 bet wins you a total of $60 if he ends up wowing us this week and getting in the top three. So there's that. And then in the last seven races at Phoenix, Elliott has led almost 400 laps with one win. So that's why I'm putting a couple of dollars or $10 rather on Chase Elliott at plus 500. And if for nothing else, Kim, he has the pressure because his teammates have already won this year and he has not. And what do they say? Pressure makes diamonds. So Chase Elliott at plus 500. And then there's Austin Dillon. Now, Austin Dillon's at plus 2,000. He is my longer shot compared to Larson and Elliott and Bowman. But when you look at the actual entirety of the betting board, he's right there in the middle of the pack. So I like him over an Eric Jones or over a McDowell at plus 2,000, first of all, because $10 bet there wins you a total of $210. But, you know, I like him because... He's in a Chevy, and we've already pointed out at nauseum that Chevy is having a dominant year, and they're dominant at this track. And then he's finished in the top 15 in three of the last five races here out in the desert. So Austin Dillon plus 2,000, not a bad spot for this weekend. Okay, let's talk outright picks. Since we've talked so much about Chevy and Chevy drivers, should the outright pick for this weekend be a Chevrolet driver? Well, Kim, now is the time that I'm going to give you my very bold prediction. <laughs> for the desert this weekend. And my very bold prediction is that Kyle Larson wins in back-to-back -back weekends. What's that Drake song? Is it back-to-back? -back? So that's gonna be Larson <laughs> this weekend. Um, he's at plus 700 to win outright. He tested this short track package at Phoenix back in December. He's actually one of only six active drivers to do so. And last year, he led 201 laps at this track. Again, we've said it a million times. I'm gonna say it a million and one. Chevy dominance. Chevy has swept this season so far. But guys, if you want to spread your money around a little bit and you, you know, you're not feeling Larson, you could always throw a little bit on Hamlin at plus a thousand or Kyle Busch at plus 1200 because both of them have actually won at this track as well. Awesome. I love it. Erica, thank you so much. We'll see you next week.